in the in this session i will show you how to do the supervised classification by using the image classification tool okay let's before the classification we got to know about the uh, supervised classification uh, image classification it is a user friendly environmental for classifying the uh, multispectral images to take the uh, supervised classification we need the training set we got to assign the training pixel for each classes after the assigning the training set then uh, system itself classifying based on the training set okay these are the, the tools we got to use the maximum likelihood classification and supervised and iso cluster like this we got the different category available take the this is the training sample manager we got to digitize the uh, digitize the classes this one is uh, we got to clearing the training samples this is a drawing tool this is a selection tool okay let's go for the image classification first of all you go to check it or oh, you are uh, you are extension is enabled not you go to check it the spatial analyst is enabled or not already enabled right now and here right click you uh, check the check the image classification after that here the window will be appear then uh, you go to take the training sample you have to draw the training sample first one is i am drawing this uh, settlement this this or the settlement after that here training sample manager click it i am giving the name settlement Then second class vegetation. This vegetation. Then third class. the fourth class is a back end land then go to the fifth class this is agriculture land Then after that, you select all the classes, save, save it to the uh, Icnos image training. Training, then save it. to save some respective directory okay already saved my training then here you have to go for the interactive supervised classification just click it you can see already classify from the from the training site can check it here these are already classified you got to give the five classes play then give the spectral signature if 
you look out the, the this one is first one is settlement give the label it second class vegetation then third one is a grassland fourth one is a vacant land fifth one is agriculture land then apply it apply ok it's automatically changing the legend value if you look at this um, spectral values you go to select this one then show the histogram what are, what are the band signature if you click this one show the histogram next one third is a signature then fourth signature then with the signature what are the bands how many pixel count present in the uh, multispectral image class after class trading me it will show in the histogram if you look at the um, scatter if you look at the statistic it will show in the what is the statistic present in the particular area it will show you select all it will show in the all the land categories based on the minimum maximum mean standard deviation value it will show suppose you want to uh, create new signature file you can create here and then you go to say save it Save it a particular uh, particular folder. Then, uh, suppose you want to generate the principal component image. Here, go to the classification principal components. Then, uh, here uh, maximum component is three. Three component uh, because of multispectral, you generate the three component. Then. processing this is a principal component image it will show in the components of the what from this based on the, the spectral signature we can show the land use land cover okay let's see you go to prepare the maps go to the layout view here you click this one This uh, land is land cover classification based on the supervised. Lu Lc supervised classification. Then apply. Okay, this is the legend. What are the we are classified the information stored in the layout window? Thank you very much for watching my video.